Welcome back. Today is an exciting video because I'm going to be bringing you along for our first ever trip to the Goodwill bins. I recently found out that there was one a little over an hour away from us. I've always wanted to go to one. I've heard amazing things about um, all of the cheap prices and how much good stuff you can find there, but I never knew that we had one close to us. I think it is um, fairly new, like maybe within the past few years because I looked one up before a few years ago and I could not find one anywhere near us so I feel like it's pretty new I don't know exactly when it opened um, but I'm gonna be bringing y'all along today and we're gonna see what treasures we can find we also will probably go to some other Goodwills and thrift stores in this area and um, just have like a whole fun day of it but I hope you enjoy coming along we've actually already been and we're back home now but I'm gonna I brought you all through the whole experience filmed it it was such a good experience and we found some amazing stuff so I cannot wait to share it with you but first let me share with you kind of like the experience and then once we get back here I'll share with you everything that we brought home and also how I'm using some of these pieces because I already have some of them put out in different spaces and I'll share with you how I'm using them or decorating with them and also what like some of the clothing pieces look like on I already have everything washed and I found some really good clothing as well so I hope that you enjoy this fun little video and I'll see you when we get there Like I said, this was our very first time at the Goodwill Outlet Bins, so we were excited to go in and see what all we could find. The way that it works is you purchase the items by the pound, so they weigh them. The housewares here in our state are 69 cents a piece, and then the clothing, like men's, women's clothing, um, that also includes belts, hats, purses, shoes, and everything like that is $1.99 a pound. It might be different from state to state. I have no idea. I just know that here in Kentucky, that was our prices. So I did want to mention that. Um, and definitely keep in mind that you will need to dig. So here is a few views at where like the houseware items were. It is really just all thrown in there. And so you just kind of have to dig through and see what you can find, which is super fun if you love a good treasure hunt, which we do. So that was super fun to like dig through and see what we could find. Um, it truly does feel like just a really fun hunt. And then next I looked through like the clothing and there's so many clothing bins so it took me a while but I just went through every one of them thankfully it wasn't really crowded and we kind of just had space to just go and take our time to look through everything which was really nice and a super fun experience I also forgot to mention something else that is really important to remember. So the way that the bins works is the more pounds that you purchase, the more the price goes down. So instead of paying um, 69 cents a pound, if you get 25 pounds or more of homeware items, the price is going to go down to only 49 cents a pound. So definitely keep that in mind because we were able to get twice as much stuff for less than half than we would have paid if we hadn't went to the 25 pound or more mark and also for um clothing i believe it goes down to 99 cents a pound if you get over 25 pounds so definitely remember that because it's a good way to really save I love this one. This one's so pretty. And then, I know. And then, oh my gosh! Look at the bottom. USA. And then that one. Thought this cushion was really pretty too. Mm -hmm. And a little Santa. After 
after we left the Goodwill bins, we wanted to check out some of the other Goodwill stores in the area. So we went to this first one that was closest to it and they had some of the nicest furniture. I thought this piece was so pretty. It was only $40. Um, I don't think it was completely solid real wood, but I still thought it was a really beautiful dresser and I loved the details on it. And then they also had these two giant china cabinet hutch pieces that were literally like 40 and 50 dollars a piece we could not believe that and then look at this gorgeous piano i can't remember the exact price on this but i remember thinking it was such a good price and really reasonable um and then i loved these two pictures with the tulips and the roses definitely my colors i just loved those and this store again we were like the only ones here and i was just so shocked there was so much good stuff wait until we get into the homeware and the dishes i mean we were like blown away with how much good stuff it has i feel like our goodwill never has this much um but like i said we were over an hour away from where we live so we were super shocked that like no one else was in here we had the whole store to ourselves and i was like there is so much good old stuff in here we couldn't believe it so it was just a really good thrifting day I have never seen an ironstone bowl like this before, but I thought it was so beautiful. It had beautiful crazing. I loved all of the age on it. It was $6.99. I really didn't know exactly what I would do with it. Um, so I didn't pick it up, but I thought it was such a pretty piece. Like look at the scalloped edge, just so beautiful. And then also that casserole dish that didn't say ironstone, but I still thought it was a really beautiful old dish i have never seen one like that before and then this little gravy boat actually matches the platter that i shared in a recent video it's the same style so i thought that was super unique to see and then also lots of pyrex and really cute little dishes Okay, now let me share with y'all everything we brought home from the Goodwill outlet bins and also from a few other Goodwills in the area that we stopped at. I found so much dishware. I was so surprised to see so many pieces that are exactly my style and everything that I love at the Goodwill bins on the day that we went. I could not believe it. Like everything I was putting in the cart was just 100% very, um, what do you call it? Like just French cottage grandma cottage core type of vibes which i am absolutely in love with so let's go ahead and get started with everything i'll share with you probably my favorite piece out of everything so we actually ended up okay let me start from the very beginning so when we went in there was only us and three other people that were there and we went on a saturday morning and got there as soon as they opened we were there when they unlocked the doors and i was expecting it to be like a huge long line and um 
like a ton of people right there at opening and surprisingly it was like I said just four of us my husband went straight over to the homeware section and I started looking through a few of the clothing bins and almost immediately he was like you gotta come over here there's so many vintage dishes so I went over there and there was so many pretty things there was tons of false graph ironstone um, McCoy pieces they rotated out three times while we were there pretty much they would wait until everybody was finished looking through all of the homeware and then as soon as everybody was done we would step back behind the yellow line and then they would rotate and bring out all new carts to go through and then once everyone had looked through there then they would step behind the yellow line bring out more carts um, and then they were also rotating out the clothing a ton while we were there too so that way you were always seeing like new items and you were able to like keep digging um, also I would only recommend this if you love to dig and like hunt for items because you are gonna have to sift through and dig I was really surprised to see though that all the bins were really clean so I'm thankful we didn't come across anything gross or anything we didn't want to touch or anything like that we did bring gloves just in case but it ended up being like I said just a really good experience if we lived closer I would literally want to go like every single day um, so it's probably a good thing that we don't but yeah it's over an hour away from where we live and it's just a fun thing to do every once in a while I definitely prefer um, like the yard sales estate sales barn sales um, and small town thrift stores around here but it is fun to go do stuff like this just every once in a while just to see what you can find and I'm super thankful that we ended up finding some really good stuff so the first things that I almost immediately put in the cart were these beautiful plates this one here says Vaudre China but it has these beautiful blue flowers I am so 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 in love with blue right now i just want blue everything you can probably tell um blue's always been my favorite color but i feel like i'm really gravitating towards it more recently i actually had a blue bedroom growing up i painted my bedroom um a light baby blue at like 13 because that was my all-time favorite color and um in our first apartment i painted all of our furniture the same color blue it was like this light um aqua kind of blue I guess you would describe it and I painted like I said our dresser our coffee table our end tables we had found them all at yard sales and they were all like kind of old and worn down so I'll give them a fresh coat of paint and I was just obsessed with blue but anyway so I'm coming back into that I feel like now and really just absolutely so drawn to all the blues you'll probably be able to tell so much of this stuff has that kind of look to it so I love this little plate here um, and then this one I thought was so beautiful too with this like darker blue with the florals and then this plate is actually an ironstone plate there was only one of these but I grabbed it because I thought it was just so pretty and I have a few in this same design this is um, Wooden Sons England there is the stamp on the back. So I thought these were just super pretty even though they were all mixed matched. I just love plates like this and adding them into our home. And then I found two little saucers. And these are ironstone as well. They're called Blossom Time Ironstone. It says they are hand painted, made in Staffordshire, England. And I thought the flowers on these again were so pretty i just love that beautiful blue and there was two of these little saucers and then there's the stamp on the back of that one okay and then the next thing like i said they rotated the bins out several times while we were there and the last time they rotated them i didn't really see anything and i was about to walk away i was like i'm not seeing anything good I guess we're just gonna go ahead and go and then i decided to look in one more little rack i lifted up some boxes and under the boxes this beautiful beautiful gravy boat the detail on this this is probably my most favorite thing just how beautiful is this I cannot believe that they had pieces like this things that I love to collect the next thing that I grabbed were these two bowls they were also both in the same bin and this is like a huge like washstand bowl it did not have the picture with it that would have been amazing but it was just the bowl and it looks like this is definitely handmade by someone it says r jones on the bottom it's like engraved i don't know if you'll be able to see the engraving where someone 
wrote that but I loved it because of of course the beautiful blue flowers I love big stoneware pieces like this um, and I have already styled this on our kitchen table so I will share a clip of that of what it looks like um, in this video but if you watched my recent um, dining room makeover video then you probably have already seen this so love that piece and and then the next bowl is this beautiful McCoy bowl and it does have a few cracks but that doesn't bother me at all because I still love pieces like this to display in like my china cabinet and hutches um, you can easily like hide those cracks as long as you're not gonna be putting food in it it's perfectly okay if it's just gonna be for a display piece so I love the blue and the pink on this, so gorgeous. I thrifted this smaller McCoy bowl to this set a few years ago, so now I have the small one and the medium one, so exciting. And this is the markings on the bottom, made in USA. My husband really loves McCoy pieces, so he was very excited to see this as well. And we found a McCoy base that I'll share with you in just a second. Um, but I was super excited about these two bowls. Also, I should have mentioned already but um for pricing we paid $30 for everything in total for all of the homeware items and all of the clothing that was our total price and the way that it works is the more that you buy the more pounds that you purchase the cheaper it is so the price goes down so for homeware I'm gonna have to look this up because I'm not 100% sure that I remember the correct weight but I think it's maybe like 20 pounds or something like that if you hit that mark then your price goes down to instead of paying 99 cents a pound for these pieces we only paid 49 cents a pound so for the homeware you really want to try to hit that because it will literally save you half so we ended up only the homeware stuff came to only 12 dollars in total for all of this stuff I mean I still have so many pieces to share with y'all so definitely if you go make sure that you hit that mark um, and then also with clothing it goes down the price goes down as well depending on how much clothing that you buy we also grabbed two of these big class measuring pictures so this one is actually fire king brand which is like a vintage dishware brand and it even has the tag where it was originally $1.99 like at a Goodwill store. Both of them I think have tags. This one was originally $4.99 but they were in the bins so these were probably like a dollar or less. And this one is Fire King and this one is Pyrex and this one goes all the way up to a quart. So this will be so good for canning. That's why I really wanted to get this one um, because you always need to measure like by quarts when you're canning stuff. So love those and then I found this beautiful wood spoon that I just had to grab because I love wood spoons and it's so random but it's just a really pretty wooden spoon to me and I'll stick that in my little utensil crock look how adorable it's a little vintage Santa ornament oh my goodness it is so old and just so much age and character I love him um, so I was excited about that little find and then this is not a vintage Santa mug oh how I wish it was but it is just like a one of these little mugs that came from Walmart originally but it's this tiny little white Santa mug it's a super small little size and so I just had to get this as well because you all know my absolute obsession with Santa mugs so we got him as well to go with the collection and then the last dishware type of items that I got are these beautiful brown glasses so they had this size and then these smaller ones as well how pretty would these look set on the table during fall they have less of that like orange amber color but they're just like a really deep brown I don't know I fell in love with them this is something else that my husband was like come look at these glasses and I was like oh, yes I love those I love those I absolutely love a good basket so I grabbed these two baskets and I love the size of this one it would be such a good tray for like a coffee table or literally anywhere in the bathroom to hold like towels there's so many things you can do with these and they were literally probably like 25 cents or probably less and then the very last two home items 
are these two vintage chair cushions. I really had no idea what I was going to do with this one, but I just had to get it because of the beautiful color and the print of it. How gorgeous is this? But I was thinking it could go in just like a kitchen chair or just like any kind of little chair throughout the house and it would be so adorable. I just love the vintage looking fabric of it and like how soft and cushiony that it was. And then the next cushion that I got, I got it to go in our vintage rocking chair. I don't have a good home for that rocking chair right now, but I found it at a yard sale a couple years ago and I've had it in a few different corners of the house, but it's kind of big and it just doesn't really fit inside the house but one day I would love to have like a covered front porch and put that out on it so I've been hanging on to it and I've always wanted to find like some sort of vintage cushion to go in it um just to make it like a little bit more comfy and I found this one and it literally fits it perfectly I will share with y'all how it looks in a clip but it's these beautiful blue flowers and just such a gorgeous cushion definitely cottage core and just so sweet i just love pieces like this it just makes you feel like you have like stepped back in time and it just gives like that cozy homey feeling so i was excited to grab that and that is all of the homeware that i found and now let me share with you the clothing i found some gorgeous coats one of them is like 100 wool and some really fun pieces the first clothing piece i found is this little corduroy skirt and this is originally just from gap so it's just this basic little camel color um, button up corduroy skirt with pockets I did not know if it was gonna fit or if I was gonna like it on but I figured that for like 25 cents I would go ahead and grab this and just try it because I thought it would be so cute for fall or even for summer depending on what you pair it with so I grabbed it and I absolutely love how it looks on. So I was super excited that I got that. And then the next thing I grabbed are these um, Lee, like vintage Lee shorts. And they literally are perfect. They're the perfect wash. They're just the perfect like vintage looking blue jean short however they're like two or three sizes too big and I was so sad but I have been watching some tutorials on how to alter shorts and jeans and like bring them in a little bit so I feel I feel pretty confident that I can do it and just take them in on the sides so I'm gonna try to do that and if I do I'll share it with y'all like on Instagram or in a future video but I just thought for again so cheap I would go ahead and try them then I found this little embroidered um, sweet sweet little sweatshirt look at that embroidered design with the flowers so gorgeous i love this and it looks like it might be like a vintage brand northern reflections i'm not sure but i just thought it was so cute and then i grabbed like this little dress slash nightgown i really don't know but it's like this cotton slash linen material definitely probably like a nightgown but i just thought it was a really soft texture and would be perfect for summer and then this so exciting this is a vintage um northwest territory sweater and the colors on this are just everything the green the burgundy the blue i thought this would be so cozy around like christmas time so unique i love that piece and then i found these amazing coats and this first one is a little bit too big, but I had to get it anyways. I had to get it. It's the most perfect color and texture. It's like a thick and like soft wool texture and it's made in USA. And I just love these coats like this. So it's a little bit oversized and doesn't fit as well. But this next one that I found literally fits perfect i'll insert pictures of what this stuff looks like on to um like on the side of the screen but it is this i can't even read the tag but it's um 
this huge wool trench coat and I mean everything about this is so perfect the color the buttons all the details the collar and like I said it fits perfect and I have been wanting a coat like this for so long I was actually looking for one back in like the fall time sorry that the lighting is crazy the sun is coming right through these windows right now but I was looking for one of those back in fall and I never could find one and who knew at the Goodwill bins I would end up finding the perfect one I mean there's no stains or anything on it you can tell it was like well taken care of so I love that coat and that is all of our finds from the Goodwill bin. And I'm also going to share with you how I'm using some of these pieces in our home and where I have put them. And then also what some of the clothing looks like on to kind of give you an idea of more of what it looks like. So I hope that you enjoyed this. And I hope that this can inspire you to go thrifting and to pick out those pieces that are meaningful and special and also by helping the earth to give these pieces a new home and a new life and to give them a second chance um but that's gonna be it i hope you enjoyed watching and i will see you all in my very next okay week. now i thought i would bring you in here and share with you how i have some of the pieces displayed that we got from the bins and how i'm using them and there's actually two other pieces in here as well that we got that day that I forgot to bring in there for the haul. So I thought I could just share them with you how I already have them styled. So the first thing is this lamp. And then I also found this cute straw hat at the bins that day. And I loved the blue on it. I, th I don't think it's old or anything, but I just thought the ribbon was so pretty. And I thought it would be a nice addition. And then this is where I have the gravy boat displayed here along with some of my other little pictures and dishes. And then this is the basket that I shared. I wanted some like color and texture and warmth over here. And I love bringing that in with baskets. So I just hung it from one of the pegs here on this shelf. And that is how I'm using it for now. And then this lamp, like I said, was from the bins and it didn't have a shade on it, but I was thinking I could use one that I had or I could thrift one for it, but I just couldn't leave it behind because I love the base of the lamp. It's this beautiful like blue green color, which I'm always so drawn to. And I thought it was a cute little size. So one of the shades that I already have ended up working perfect for it. So I'm excited about that. And I just think it's a cute little touch on this table. And then the bowl that I have in this centerpiece is the one I got that day as well with the blue flowers. So that is how I'm using that piece. Okay, and then the last thing I have to share are these two beautiful pieces of art that we found at a Goodwill that was like right beside the bins. Um, these I just thought were so pretty. They were only $3.99 each. And of course what drew me to them was the colors and the flowers. I love the tulips. And then this is a beautiful like bouquet of roses. Um, and I looked them up and I think they're like a French style artist. Um, from what I could find online. So I thought that that was really cool. And I just loved again the colors. Even the frames are really pretty. They definitely match like a French cottage type of look and I just thought again they were so sweet I love that they are different but yet they also are coordinating so I actually have this one right now hanging in the dining room on the wall um, like by the door and then this one I have in our little hallway so it's like they coordinate but yet they um, they flow from room to room but they're different at the same time and they kind of help pull those colors together so anyway excited that we found these at the Goodwill like I said $3.99 each and just so perfect for spring and all year round here's that vintage rocking chair I found this at a yard sale I believe it was in 2021 during that summer is when I found this but look how perfect this cushion fits it and it just makes it feel so cozy to me I love it and it also is just like so old fashioned and just so like quaint to me. I just absolutely love it. And then this is like what the full rocking chair looks like. I would love so much to find a space for this like in here somewhere, but I just don't think, I don't know. It's a pretty wide piece, but maybe I can find a little corner to tuck it into if I play around with some things. 
So maybe I'll do that eventually, but for now, I'm just hanging on to it until I find like that perfect spot because I know it's such a good quality piece. And I just know that one day I will eventually find that perfect home for it. I'm sure I'll probably move these around and play with them more, but for now, I have the little floral plates here on the coffee table with like some books and a little teapot. And to me, this creates a really cozy atmosphere where you have like your tea, your little cups, and your books it just looks very inviting and so that's how i have these styled right now i love that pop of blue so gorgeous thank you all so much for being here with me on my channel and if you are in the process of decorating and creating your home and like discovering your style and all of that i hope we can go through that process together give each other ideas you all have gave me so many valuable and truly amazing ideas. Thank you for always sharing your thoughts and really helping me along the way. And I hope that I can help do the same if you were, like I said, um, designing your home and creating a space that you love using pieces that you love. Um, I hope I can encourage you to thrift and to hunt for those pieces. Don't rush it. Just really take the time to be selective and find those things that you really know that you love and you know that is right for your home. That's something that I'm constantly working on daily. And so I hope that I can continue to encourage you to do that as well. Um, and to, like I said, give these thrifted pieces a second chance to create the atmosphere of how you want to feel in your home. But with all of that being said, I hope you all enjoyed this video and you were able to pull inspiration from it for your own spaces. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your week and I will see you in my next one.